Hi, welcome to Look Closer and welcome to a rather blustery day east of Albany, Western Australia in the Arpenton Nature Reserve. Today we're going to be looking for one of Australia's most cryptic and smallest mammals, the honey possum, Tarsippes rostratus. I did say that we're going to be looking for honey possums today, but what I should have said is that we're going to be looking for honey possums tonight because they're predominantly nocturnal. But it's very important that we find the right habitat to look for honey possums because they are very dependent on the plants. So we're gonna spend a little bit of time looking for the right plants to find honey possums on. One of them's behind me and one of them is a bit further up the road. So I'm gonna show you both of those. Let's go have a look. The habitat that we're looking in is coastal heathland. It's full of very dense vegetation and it's all quite low to the ground, but it is full of life and full of flowers if you know where to look. This one is Calathamnus, and at this time of the year, it's flowering well and is full of nectar. So why is it so important that we find the right flowers to look for honey possums? This is one of the things that sets honey possums apart. They are exclusively nectivorous, so they only live on the pollen and the nectar that comes out of these flowers. This is Banksia coccinea, and it's one of the primary food sources for honey possums. All right. It's night time and we're here to look for our honey possums. I know what you're thinking, how are we gonna find such a small cryptic animal in the dark at night in thick vegetation? Well, we have the right tool for the job. Because honey possums are mammals, they are warm blooded. So we have got a thermal camera with us tonight. So what we're gonna do is scan a lot of this preferred habitat of the honey possums and see if we can pick up a heat signature from it. Let's go have a look. Now is a great time to thank my field partner for this video, Rai Beaver from Wildlife Watching Australia. He's provided heaps of knowledge and experience for this trip, as well as bringing along his fantastic little thermal camera. If you're interested in the unit he's using, I've provided a link in the description. I see him, he's up here. Awesome. All right, we've been doing a bit of scanning through the vegetation. We've had a bit of a drive by in the car and been walking up and down here for a bit and we've spied a bit of heat movement in these bushes behind us. So what we're gonna do is turn on the lights, see if we can get some good footage of this honey possum. He's having a good old scratch and he's off. Why don't we have a quick look at his name? Tarsippes rostratus, what does that mean? The first word, the genus name is Tarsippes. And it was given this name because the people that described it thought its feet looked like the feet of a tarsier, which is a South American mammal. They've got very ape-like hands with little nails instead of claws. The other word, rostratus, means nose. And I think if you look at him, he's got this great big long rostrum nose that he uses to stick into flowers. This long nose goes really well with his long tongue, which he can poke into the flowers to slurp out the nectar. As descriptive as his Latin name is, it just doesn't roll off the tongue quite like the local indigenous name, Nullbanger. Well, that was our closer look at Tarsippes rostratus, the honey possum. I hope you've enjoyed this video and we'll see you next time. He's quick. 
Mate, if it was easy, everyone would be doing it. That's what everybody tells me.